Mr Speaker, it will come to no surprise to anybody in this House that I will be advocating for nuclear as the most game-changing, transformative way to tackle the climate situation and significantly, seriously reduce our carbon emissions. There is quite simply no alternative. It is unparalleled, safe, proven and efficient technology. Nuclear and its capability to generate clean energy 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for 60 years is incredible. And rolling out this government's third generation nuclear reactors would generate more than 18 gigawatts of clean, safe, low carbon energy, whilst also creating thousands of jobs, apprenticeships and training places and improving the local communities. And I speak with some experience, having lived in a nuclear community for 43 years and previously working in the industry. But because of the last Labour government failing to invest in new nuclear, the last power station to be built was Sizewell B. Our current power stations are coming to the end of their long-serving lives, which means that our carbon emissions will soar as they have done in Germany and Japan. If Germany invested the same amount of money, £580 billion, that they did in renewables into nuclear, they would now be at zero carbon emissions. This Conservative government is rightly shouting loudly and proudly, celebrating 90 of the cleanest hours last Easter and in 2018 the cleanest, greenest year ever in the United Kingdom. Renewables are great, but they are geographically limiting and intermittent by their very nature. Last June, wind turbines were only operating at 4% of their potential. This government is the first government taking decarbonisation seriously, with Hinkley Point C now under construction. I welcome, with great anticipation, the small modular reactor competition, UK consortium, and advanced modular reactors, which will give us the ability to re- reduce waste in that industry, the energy white paper, and the regulated asset based financial model, which I very much hope will ensure that we can reduce the cost of new nuclear as well. The Leader of the Opposition has consistently argued against nuclear power. He voted against Sizewell B, he voted against Hinkley Point C. He's campaigned against nuclear his entire working life. The evidence is clear. Denuclearisation increases carbon emissions. Countries around the world are now realising this. And I know this government is taking decarbonisation seriously.